It says, help Mike the mechanic. Who took his tool? What tool did they take? Where did they hide it? <laughs> More snap-on propaganda. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Let's get into this video. Shut up and sit down. What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. JRC's 54's Auto Shop Life. Getting into it. Been a long week at the shop. New guy settling in pretty nice. Probably his third or fourth week here. Who's keeping track? But I uh, want to hit you guys with a quick tool haul. Check it out. Alright, so we got a couple new tools um, that you guys probably seen floating around YouTube by Gear Wrench. Um, one I know I've definitely seen. Another one I got is the long extensions. Um, that I actually, I actually seen these first on the Snap-on truck, but then I went to realize Snap-on makes, I think, a four or five piece set, but it's the E-Torx. This one is the sockets made by Gear Wrench. This is one's 3.8, part number 84980, and they're pretty much, uh, haven't cracked it open, but we'll get some close-up shots of what these things look like opened up. But it looks like you got, uh, you know, your standard size in it. Oh, they skip a nine. So eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 set. Um, pretty nice. You know, the extension all in one. This is the uh, pinless, I believe. The pinless universal on there, you know, all in one. Pretty nice. You know, better than having it. got a lower slim profile. I'm sure you guys see in the pictures. But five piece set picked up off Tim, the Cornwell man. Pretty cool dude. You know, he's always hooking it up. I'm always grabbing something off the man. He, you know, great dude. Definitely love to support him. Um, got this one, he said pretty much a new tool. Did not see these, like I said, uh, the only ones I've seen like this was on the Snap-on truck and they're for e torques only. Um, those do come in handy too. Might be thinking about picking those up. Uh, the other one, I'm sure you guys seen, is all over, uh, you know, seen it all over on a few guys' channels, probably a couple weeks ago, is the Gear Wrench Bolt Biters. And I can only speculate on how good these things are. I've seen some of the demos the guys have done. They seem like a great one, you know, and, and I'm just, you know, it's like a turbo socket setup. You know, get those strip fasteners out or those rounded out. These claim they could get basically completely rounded off bolts out and fasteners out. Um, I went ahead and just sprung for the 28 piece. I think this is the, the biggest set you can get. It has all the sizes in there. And then if you guys can see up close, you know, they not only have, you know, the seven millimeter, but then they got a seven millimeter negative. They got the, uh, <clears throat> you know, 3 8 and then 3 8 negative, 10, and then 10 negative. And basically what that little negative symbol is, if, you know, the fastener is completely rounded off, you know, it claims it could, it could grip a hold of it and, uh, you know, bite down on it and get it broken loose. So we're definitely going to be putting these to use. Definitely be checking into this one. You guys can see what comes in the set. Comes with the nice rails and all that stuff. Part number on this one, 84784. You guys want to check that one out. You guys heard about Gear Wrench coming out with great tools. You know, I got to give them credit. Um, you know, I mean, Cornwell, Cornwell and Maco guys are lo losing dealer left and right. You know, a couple other from Snap-on you guys seen in the beginning of the video, I thought was pretty cool. You guys know me and my Snap-on merchandise, um, they got the game of Clue. You know, they went ahead and put their spin on Clue, but this thing's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm the type of guy, I probably won't even open it. I already got the normal Clue game at home. We play on family game night, but even down to the pieces that it comes with, you got a half inch air impact, 10 millimeter socket. You could be a ratchet wrench, a regular ratchet, a screwdriver, the zoo scan tool, and they look like they're like pot belly metal. Uh, some of the characters in here, you got Gary Green, Uncle Dizzy, Bossy Bella, Sneaky Sam, Tech, cool, tech, <laughs> tech School Tessa, and then Scatterbrain Scott. So pretty, pretty neat. I, you, Snap, they know what they're doing with this marketing. They definitely know what they're doing. Um, you know, even the like the board games got like the cafeteria, parts department, bathroom, bay five, bay seven. I could see a showroom, waiting room. Uh, definitely pretty neat. I, I thought this was cute. Had to get it. Snap on guy actually threw it to me. Um, you know, he's a great dude too. You know, reads my Snap on man. It's definitely a cool guy. But you know, hey, you got Snap on. You want some ideas? Come out with a Monopoly version. You know, instead of going to jail, you got to go to the tool truck and pay your tool bill. There's an idea for you. So I picked that one up off the Snap on truck. Um, you guys know we went ahead and did the uh, toolbox widget to the screwdriver door. You know, I saved 20% in that screwdriver door. Just been looking at the ones, you know, I could kind of grab here and there to fill it in. Um, now that I got more room, got to buy more tools. I got the, uh, the Deutsch terminal tool for those circular terminals. Um, 
I got a tool that gets it out now pretty good, a little terminal kit that I have on a keychain, but these got the instinct handles, they're pretty cool. They got all different sizes in there. We'll dive down, I'll show you guys some close-ups of this. You can see six piece set, uh, part number on this one, we got SGD TT 106. If you guys interested, so you don't leave it down in the comments, you can see it right there on the screen. But uh, pretty nice set. Like I said, I got ones like this, but to fill in that screwdriver drawer, you guys know I dig those instinct handles. You know, try to keep it all red, keep it all snap on before I fill it in with the rest of the screwdrivers. Also picked up some more instinct handles. I got the older pick style, radiator hose pick style. This is the one with the points on them. I definitely dig the newer style better, but you know, I, I definitely wanted a set of these, but I figured with, you know, no room, I'd rather have the ones that I want more, but now that I got the extra room, picked up the regular set. These are nice too, for other reasons. More than just radiator hoses, obviously using a bigger pick, pulling a seal, you know, obviously you guys know I'm using these things for whatever I gotta use them for. I don't care if it's, you could call it abuse if you want, but you know, pick, it comes in handy for anything. And sometimes those smaller handle picks or those smaller, you know, metal picks don't cut it. You know, you gotta get the bigger ones and have a sharper tip on it. But pick this one up, part number on this one, S G R H T L B three B R kind of a tongue twister there long part number you guys can see it on the screen without the glare but nice three piece set they got the uh, this is the bigger instinct handle too they got the pretty much 90 and it's not chrome this is actually like the darker metal they got the uh, 45 the same handle all the handles are the same these do have separate part numbers and then the smaller little you know the dig and pick you know also good for you know scraping that corrosion off and all that stuff you could use this kind of inside a seal did a bmw water pump and there's corrosion all up in there this would have came in handy for but i just ended up using a smaller pick this would have probably got it done faster pick that one up and then the last one the last one i picked up you guys remember a couple months back rust belt actually uh, made one of these uh, on the channel to you know make a tool challenge uh, that I wonder is still going on but uh, wire insertion tool and this one does not have an instinct handle just the old you know hardened snap on handle but it's definitely red partner I'm in this one win s 100 r and it's pretty much the wire insertion tool it's got the little tubes and screws different sizes different diameters caught this one on sale what did I say 10 bucks there or whatever you had it for 78.50 sale 69.99 so hey i'm putting the prices online i don't even care i'm a rebel but definitely full cool set definitely could use this with some of the custom work i do running those wires through the firewall you know running these led bars you know aftermarket radio fog lights running you know halos things like that stuff in the back these definitely come in handy especially with the smaller sizes one it beats a metal hanger you know what i mean scratching up the doors and all that stuff you know it's got a hole in the handle you could run the wire straight on through pull it out you're good to go all right guys get this one wrapped up just quick mentions i will be doing a uh another giveaway toolbox widget giveaway so you guys stay tuned to the channel not sure exactly when and what exactly i'm going to give away but got something to make it want to do a giveaway coming up um you guys follow the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you guys know when i drop that video you guys like these tool videos leave me a thumbs up as always guys like comment subscribe catch you in the next one signing out